الذين أحسنوا الحسنى وزيادة ولا يرهق وجوههم قتر ولا ذلة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear viewers, welcome to our series of errors and correction from Huda TV. Uh, this series, you know, we're going to cover some errors which Muslims fall into and the correction. And there are many errors uh, some Muslim may fall into. So uh, the ultimate goal of this uh, show or this program is actually to clear these errors to the uh, brother or brother Muslim and uh, this and then we show also the correction for any error. Uh, one of the most important thing that many people fall into is errors in Salah. Uh, either not uh, performing Salah properly or they are delaying Salah. Uh, also uh, sometimes people you know they are very fast in performing salah, very fast when they perform rukur, very fast when they performing, you know, sujood, uh, they don't really, they don't really uh, become humble during salah. They have no khushur, and salah is, you know, as you all know, is the second pillar of Islam. And the last uh, Rasulullah Rasul when he was dying. Uh, last thing he was actually uh, bringing our attention to, and last well, I would say, his last well is actually when he was dying, he said, As Salah, As Salah, wa malikat aymanikum. He said, As Salah, As Salah, As Salah. And unfortunately, there are many Muslims, unfortunately, they are, you know, committing a lot of errors in Salah. Like, you know, they, they just keep, uh, they come, sometimes they keep running to the Salah, and this is an error, of course. Uh, they don't uh, stand still in Salah. They are moving, you know, looking to the right, looking to the left. Sometimes they play with their keys. Uh, Sometimes they play with the mobiles. Sometimes they play with their watches. And this is not really, uh, this is one of the errors. So and the correct thing is actually when you are performing Salah, you should really be humble. You should really be have khushur. You should really concentrate uh, with the Imam who is res reciting the Quran. Uh, so you can digest and understand the ayat that Imam is reciting. And uh, because Rasulullah he said, uh, So what you mean, you know, that if you, if you don't really, you know, when, you, when you're coming up from Rukur, if you don't stand still and your back is straight, then, you know, uh, Rasulullah he said, this salah is invalid. So also uh, one of the uh, errors that uh, some Muslim fall into uh, is actually while he is performing salah, he, his mind is, is completely out of, of, of the salah. You know, he is thinking of something else. He is not really, his mind, his intention is not actually with the salah. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ yeah, The wail is actually a valley in, 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 in hellfire. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is threading those uh, Muslims who are performing salah, but they are not with the salah. You know, they are with the salah only uh, physically, but, you know, emotionally, and uh, their mind is absent. Uh, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, warning them from this. And also, uh, one of the errors also of uh, some of the brothers, you know, when they are performing salah, that, you know, uh, he doesn't really fill the gap, you know, uh, if he's standing in salah and there is a gap to his left or to his right, he don't fill that gap. Or sometime a gap at front of him. He hesitate, you know, he, some of them, they are hesitating to move forward. Actually, uh, it is a sunnah uh, that when you see a gap at front of you, when you are performing salah, you should really move uh, two, three, four steps to fill that gap. Rasulullah Sallallahu said, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will, will really uh, reward you for this. Man wasala saffan wasalahu Allah. Who this, whoever filled the gap in any row, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will, uh, will reward him. 
also one of the also errors that people fall into, you know, because, you know, uh, is actually uh, they don't really have proper wudu. You know, they are they're very fast in wudu and they don't make sure that, you know, their arm is really covered with water all the way to the elbow. And sometimes even when they're making wudu, the face, they don't really make sure that the whole face is washed by water. Also, the, the foot should be completely uh, washed, and you know, all the way to the ankle. And Rasulullah has warned the bewailu lil aqabi min al nar. So al aqab actually it is the area which is behind the ankle. Some people, you know, they don't notice the water is covering this area. You know, so that's is very important. You know that we avoid these errors. You know, when we coming to the salah. We should really be, you know, we care, we care too much and we are performing wudu. We should really give, you know, a really a great attention to what we are doing. Because, you know, this is ibadah. This is not a job you just want to do it as soon as possible and leave. This is ibadah. This is a pillar, the second pillar, you know, in Islam. So uh, we, we as, you know, we Muslim must really take care of in the beginning, you know, from the beginning of Salah, then when you start wudu, until you finish from Salah. Also, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is actually warning the people who doesn't pray, you know. People, unfortunately, uh, who sometimes pray, sometimes don't pray. But especially the people who really uh, disregarding Salah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, said in the Quran, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem, ma salakakum fi sakar, qalu lam naku. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will ask, you know, the people who will be put in hell fire. And one of the fires, is the name of that fire is Saqar. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask him, who put you in Saqar? Who really admit you in Saqar? They will say, because we were not performing Salah. Qalu lam naku min al -musallin. Also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَأَطِيعُوا الرَّسُولَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ Many ayat is commanded us really to take care of salah. Also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ كَانَتْ عَلْمُمْنِينَ كِتَابًا مَنْقُوتًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, حَافِظُوا عَلَى الصَّلَوَاتِ وَالصَّلَاةُ الْوُسْطَى Many ayat, my brothers and sisters, is very clear in the Quran. And also, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam um, you know, mankind uh, will be uh, judged in the day of judgment is about his salah. Rasulullah he said, Awala ma yuhasab bani Adam an salah. The first thing mankind will be judged is salah. If his salah is valid, then all his deeds will be valid. Fa in salaha salatu, salaha sa'iru amalu. If his salah is valid, then all his deeds will be valid. But if his salah is invalid, all your deeds, you know, fasting, uh, performing hajj, uh, zakah, charity, uh, all good deeds, unfortunately, it will be invalid. So, my brother and sister, I really warn myself and warn my brother and sisters all to be careful, to be give good attention, very, very uh, important that we really care for salah uh, from the time we make wudu until we finish. And we should not really delay salah, absolutely. Uh, also, uh, one of the things that people fall into is actually the people who is committing uh, suicide. One of the major uh, sin that a Muslim could do to himself is actually when he killed himself. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has warned us in the Quran by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَا تَقْتُلُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ بِكُمْ رَحِيمًا وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكَ عُدْوَانًا وَظُلْمًا don't kill yourself uh, because Allah is so merciful taking care of you and who does this you know uh, intentionally and by oppressing by oppressing himself he will taste the hellfire he will taste the hellfire and it this is very easy on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is not difficult for Allah it is this is very easy uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to put you in fire. So this is one of the major sin uh, people could really actually or the major error 
Sometimes people, they just lost hope. They become frustrated. They got exhausted. They lost hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he's facing some, you know, frustration in life, hardship. And then because if he has less iman, because his iman is weak, you know, any uh, Muslim, his iman is strong, he will never ever think to commit a suicide because suicide is a very major uh, sin. So we have to be careful and warn our also, you know, loved ones from this. Also one of the, actually the worst thing, also the worst errors also, or the major error, people unfortunately, many people, and many Muslim unfortunately, they are falling in this error, is actually, you know, accepting interest, usury, because we Muslim not supposed to take riba. Whatever circumstances we can go through, whatever hardship, whatever our need, you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has warned us uh, from riba, interest. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمُنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَذَرُوا مَا بَقِيَ مِنَ الْرِبَى إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ فَإِن لَمْ تَفْعَلُوا فَأْذَنُوا بِحَرْبٍ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولُهُ Oh, you believe, fear Allah and stay away from riba. Don't, if you are a real believer, in كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ If you don't do that, then be aware that Allah will raise war against you. So be careful, my brother and sister. And sister. We should stay away from riba. Whatever we need, how much really our, you know, uh, our need for money or need for, you know, to, to the, the house or to buy a car, never ever approach riba. Brother and sister, we come to conclude this episode. We looking forward to see you again, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.